This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Audible. Ask the who, ask the what, where's John? Who's the bald guy? I'm Noah, this is Ask the Buffalo. Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Ask the Buffalo, Techno Buffalo on Revision 3. My name is Noah Kravitz, Editor-at-Large for Techno Buffalo and I'm sitting in for John Rettinger because he's over in Switzerland eating some fine Swiss chocolate while looking at his fine Swiss watch. Now, actually, he's at the Geneva Motor Show checking out all the fancy new cars with Mike Perlman, our lead auto editor. You can check out all their coverage of the show over on technobuffalo.com and the usual other video and social media outlets. But in the meantime, I'm here to answer your questions, so let's get right to it. Jesse Gomez asks, Noah, is there really that much of a difference between quad-core processors like the Tegra 3 and the Transformer Prime, the ASUS Transformer Prime, and the new iPads dual-core A5X processor? Couple things here. One, the Apple chip, the A5X, dual-core CPU, quad-core graphics performance. And Apple made a point of talking about about that and it's a big point to make because this chip has to drive 3.1 million pixels and then some so the graphics performance really has to be up to snuff the other thing here the way that uh, iOS handles multitasking and the way that Android the way that ice cream sandwich handles multitasking very different uh, Android ice cream sandwich much more of a traditional computing environment with your desktop and managing different apps and that kind of thing whereas on the iOS devices the iPad you know you, you can switch between different apps but really what you're doing you've got some apps that are allowed to do backgrounding but most most of the time you're just in one app at a time. The other thing to mention is that Apple's got a little bit of an advantage if you're talking about you know the raw performance of the CPU in one device versus another. Apple's advantage is that there's one device they make it, they make the hardware, they make the software, they source the components, they control the whole thing top to bottom. With Android you're talking about a platform with many different OEMs. And so even though Google's getting better all the time about hardware standardization and software standardization and that kind of stuff, you know, still these companies, ASUS and the other companies who make tablets, have to write drivers and they have to sort of tweak the base ICS install to run with their hardware. And so inevitably you're gonna have a little bit of a loss there. They just, ASUS can't optimize the Transformer Prime to work with ice cream sandwich in the same way that Apple can optimize the new iPad to run with iOS 5.1. It's just impossible because they're not building the hardware, ASUS isn't building the hardware and the software in-house. So I think Apple's gonna have some advantages especially when it comes to optimizing the software. So it's really gonna come down to a case-by-case -case use scenario, but you know, again, it could just comes down to your, your own usage. I think for the general consumer, you know, it's hard to argue with history and hard to argue with market share, and the iPad certainly has a leg up on the competition, at least right now. Let's get to a word from our sponsor, our friends at Audible. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod or MP3 player and played back anywhere at any time. Choose from books in every genre, including science fiction, thrillers, fiction, comedy, drama, and history. Just go to audiblepodcast.com slash techno. That's audiblepodcast.com slash techno, T-E-C-H-N-O, for one free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. This one comes from Twitter, Mark Crow 5 on the Twitters. Mark Crow asks, Techno Buffalo, is 512 megabytes of RAM and a single core one gigahertz processor good enough to run Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0 and Sense 4, aka the HTC One V. Well, again, as I mentioned when talking about the tablets, it all comes down to how well the code is written. I know, you know, specs, uh, to me, specs are pretty much dead at this point. And I know that's not what you want to hear. I know it's not what the marketing people want to hear. And I know, you know, no, you're so dumb. How can you say specs are dead when, I mean, even Apple, you Apple fanboy, Apple just talked about dual core and quad core graphics and blah, blah, blah. I know, I get it. But it's all a system. It's all just, it all depends on how it intermeshes, you know? And if the software and the hardware are written and they intermesh, it's great. And if they don't, then you're like, oh, I can't make a church with the steeple and the people saying hi. 
So um, I think it depends on how well HTC optimizes their code. I got a chance to check out the new HTC One line. Uh, I got a little briefing with HTC, an embargo briefing ahead of Mobile World Congress, and the software wasn't finalized, so it was kind of hard to comment. But I don't think they'd put them out running this software, Ice Cream Sandwich with Sense 4, unless they were confident that the software was going to run at an acceptable level. Now, obviously, you're going to get better performance the higher up the food chain you go. One of the things to remember in cell phone land in particular is that the fewer number of pixels on the screen, the less horsepower you need to have a good experience. A lot of the horsepower, a lot of the processing power goes to pushing pixels around the screen. So the 1V, it's a smaller screen. It's cool how they harken back to the legend, by the way. I like that little uh, that little nod to their own history. You got to make your own history in this world. So um, it's pushing fewer pixels around the display. So I think it'll be fine. That all being said, I personally am excited for the quote mid-range device, the 1S, because uh, for me, that 4.3 inch display, it's a sweet spot size and the phone is so slim and I love the way they made a metal phone that feels like soft touch plastic. I just the industrial design of that device, uh, it got me excited. It's good to notice the spec sheet. It's good to ask these questions. You're just gonna have to wait till the device comes out. We'll have to wait and see. All right, there you go. We're done. I'm out of here. John will be back next week. Until next time, thanks to our friends at Audible for sponsoring this week's episode of Techno Buffalo on Revision 3. Thanks to Rev3 for having us. Thanks to you for watching. I'll be back for the roundup on Friday. Until then, my name is Noah Kravitz. Thanks for watching. Technobuffalo.com and uh, Lionel Messi, five goals in a Champions League game. What can I say? Incredible. It's an amazing world we live in. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.